morning, good morning, good morning. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Hey, 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 I'm on vacation. If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation. Every single day, cause I love my occupation. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation. Every single day, every single day. Every, every single day. I'm outside Bennett's Country Club. That's their parking sign. Violators will be ticketed and towed. And it says lock your car, which tells me that uh, people break into cars over here. And that's really awesome, isn't it? I don't know where to get in, so I'm waiting on Norm. Once he's here, we're going to go inside and it's cameras off. Hi there, hello. So listen, good news. I thought of a new sport for us to do. Oh yeah, you did? You thought of a new thing? What's it? What is it about? We sit around together holding our rods, just hoping to get lucky. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm in. Okay, great. So here's yours. Oh wait, what's this? What is this for? It's for the sport activity. We're gonna put a little string on it and whatnot. Ah, okay, yeah, so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, here's the thing I realize. Fish are little idiots. Right. They're super dumb. They just go around like bloop, bloop and whatnot. They're pathetic. Can't disagree with that. They're always going around like they have no idea what's going on, I'm pretty sure. Exactly, so I'm pretty sure we could outsmart those little dum-dums. I mean, yeah, probably. I feel like we could do that if we wanted to. So, you know, let's do that. It'll feel good. And so that's the activity, just proving we're smarter than fish? Yeah, in a way. Like a spelling bee or a math competition? No, see, we trick them into thinking they're about to have a delicious meal, and then we stab them through the cheek! Oh, my god. Drag them up to the surface and then look at them. Jeez, why would we do that? Well, then we'd get to eat them if we wanted to, you know, like we've been doing with the dead ones that wash up on shore? Uh, well, I don't like eating fish because of how it tastes. Well, that's okay. You wouldn't be forced to eat the fish. I thought of a version called catch and release as well. And what's that about? See, what you do is you catch and release. That makes sense, okay, I can see why you called it that. Yeah. So you just stab a fish through the cheek and then you look at it and then you throw it back with a face injury. Exactly, yeah, with a little stab wound and some trauma. Okay, okay, so I guess I don't see what the point is. Well, you could take a photo with it like this. Oh, uh, that does sound like a sick profile picture. The ideal photo for dating websites as well. Yeah, although it'll be hard to beat my current one, which is just a photo of my truck taken with the flash turned on. Or, you know, if you don't take a photo, then you could just lie about the size, you know, say it was much bigger than it actually was. Oh, I do that all the time with, you know, other things. Yeah, same here, with other stuff. Here's an issue I do have, though. I, I find fish disgusting and slimy and stinky, and I don't like being around them. Well, if it helps at all, most of the time you'll be doing this activity, you won't be around fish at all. What do you mean? I mean, sometimes it's gonna take an insane amount of time before you stab one through the cheek, and sometimes Sometimes he won't stab one through the cheek at all. Oh. Yeah, it's just, you know, you sit around for a potentially very, very long time, and if you're lucky, you get a stinky prize. Oh, okay, well, that sounds kind of awful. It's relaxing. And also, I think I feel bad about the stabbing part. Oh, well, fish can't feel pain, probably. They can't? Yeah, you know, I don't know, probably. I mean, I, I'm gonna tell myself that, though, for sure. Sounds good to me. All right, so listen, if we're gonna do this, we gotta find some bugs. Oh, what? That's the name of the game, baby. Tricking fish with bugs. What are you talking about? Well, fish love eating bugs, so if we're gonna trick them into thinking they're about to eat some, we gotta get some. So to catch the things you want to catch, you gotta catch some other things first. Is that also a sport? No, because see, bugs are a lot dumber than fish, so that part's not really gonna be a challenge. So at a certain level of creature intelligence, it becomes a sport. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, we're just trying to figure out the rules. So we just gotta find some bugs, stab them with a sharp, curvy thing, then wait for the fish to stab themselves with the same thing. That sounds like a bloodbath. No, man, it's gonna be a nice time. You get to sit outdoors with a friend, enjoy the weather, just sit on the calm water. It's gonna be nice. I mean, uh, can I think about it a little bit? Look, do you want to go drink beer with me on a lake or not? Oh, why didn't you lead with that? Yeah, let's go right now. To several hours later. No, you're right, I'm not at home. I'm hanging out with Norm. He just went to go pick up a pizza 
and we're gonna eat pizza and we're gonna eat eat movies we're gonna watch some movies he just signed up for prime so now we have prime movies we're checking them out we just watched 47 meters down uncaged if you ever watched 47 meters down that's about two girls who go on some trip to costa rica or somewhere off the coast of the u.s and they find some rando person to go uh cage diving cage diving when you get in the cage you get in there and they lower you in and then you can see sharks they throw chum in the water and sharks come close by and whatever and it's exciting so then the line that the cage is on breaks well the cage is heavy obviously and it goes down 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 taking the girls with them in the cage they get stuck because the cage door is like on the bottom and so when it goes down it lands on the bottom they can't move the cage door to get out of the cage so they can swim back up and then i'm not sure what happened to the people on the boat because they should have been like oh we can't get these kids up and here's um the coast guard or something uh but anyway they end up stuck in the cage i'm gonna tell you all about it so if you don't want to watch it, there's your spoilers, and this is how it ends. They're stuck in the cage for hours and hours, and they're, they're getting low on the oxygen, right? And then they get oxygen deprived, so they start hallucinating, and the one girl autumn, like dies, and then the other girl hallucinates that she gets out of the cage and gets rescued and whatever. And then when she actually wakes up from her hallucination, she drowns. She dies. She's like oxygen deprived, dead, done. They both die. That's how the end of the movie is. Now, 47 meters down, uncaged, is a group of girls who go diving instead of going on this um, glass boat tour thing where they can see sharks and whatever. And two of the girls are like stepsisters, but they don't get along really. But then they end up getting along after this whole shark debacle stuff. So anyway, they go, instead of going into the toury one, touristy one, they go into some other place, rando place to go. And they're like, oh yeah, here's some, some gear, some scuba gear. Let's go explore this cave. Now your dad's on the other side of the cave. We'll go on this side of the cave and he'll never know that we're here. Let's well, in and out. Well, they go in, there's a shark and then they can't get out because the tunnel collapses and they're stuck in there and all kinds of stuff happen. They freak out a lot. Um, the girls do get out at the end. They're both alive. One got bit by a shark real bad. Um, the other one, all, they both got bit by a shark real bad, but the other one like stabbed it in its eyeball with a shark tooth she had in her pocket and that let the shark know hey I want to get released and they did release her and then they get back in the boat the glass bottom boat that they were supposed to be on is where they ended up on and uh, very many inconsistencies were happening in the movie so we critique those and that's just how it goes um, now Russ not Russ Norm has Google so in his room right there um his google in his room and we were talking about something and then google said something and replied and started playing something like a creepy song and i was gonna go record it but um norm said be quiet already to the google and so i missed that opportunity for something creepy but that's okay horror movie day so I thought Russ was going to have a one-day tournament, but I guess it's two days because it's a super, so it's a two-day tournament, so he fishes today and tomorrow, and I didn't know that. So then I looked at my calendar, I'm like, I guess it is a two-day, and so then he's going to be gone till tomorrow evening, so I am alone. I would be alone at the house, but thankfully Norman is not busy, so I can hang out with him, and um, I don't even spend the night. I didn't bring any clothes impromptu overnighty thingy who knows he's went to go get a pizza and we're gonna eat the pizza and watch some more movies okay bye norma's doing dishes you can't see him mm. you know oh Need a bread, cheesy breadstick, sausage pizza, Parmesan garlic, um, 
about my swings. Recommendations for a movie? The Deep House on Prime. Go on, watch on Amazon Prime. It's a good one. Spoiler alert, they all die at the end. But it's a good one. Uh, yeah. We've been watching a lot of water-related movies. We like movies. What am I doing? That. Norman, the only thing I see is your earring. That's because I'm darker than you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is true. Um, it's like 9.30-something. No. Oh, it is. Yeah. What? I saw the time before I started recording. There are ghosts above. It's just a gay couple. Oh, never mind. It's just a gay couple. <laughs> it walks heavy. <laughs> walks really heavy. <laughs> a heavy gay couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note, I'm just going to say good night. Tomorrow is Sunday, so I'll see you Monday. Toodles.